Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm gonna show you um, how to make this cardstock mini album. Okay, this mini album I made with a collection all aboard from Crafty City and I will put the link of the store in the description box. And now let's start with the materials. For the materials, I used everything. <laughs> I used all of the papers and I only have these two flowers left. So another thing um, that I used a little bit is the, the ink pad. It's a beautiful color that matches very well with this kit. And I also use this die, but I use it for the cheaper mini album that you will see in another video. And I use the stencil as well, okay? I'm going to put this away. See, in this stencil, you have these shapes. And in this mini album, you will see that I use them all, okay? I use the shapes of the birds, the anchor, and also this one. So this is everything that I have left. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you the things that I need for the mini album, okay? That I use from my stash. I use white cardstock from Walmart. And also I use this one, um, cardstock from Recollections, and it was all these colors that matches very well with the colors of the kit. I also use some Baker's twine that I have in my stash, but you can find it at Dollar Tree. Uh, this rope, I got it at Dollar Tree, and this one says uh, nautical rope, okay? You can get it in the greenery. Okay, then I also use some shells from Dollar Tree as well. Okay, and this one, this one I had it for a long time and this one I bought it at Michael's, okay? It's, uh, you can find this one in the greenery section. So those are the things that I use and cheaper for the cover. This is the cover and I'm going to give you the measurements for the chipboard. You have to cut two pieces of chipboard and the measurements are seven and one quarter by nine. Okay, two of these. And then this one for the spine is three and a half by nine. I showed how to do the cover before. You just have to glue the cardstock. Then you cover inside and make sure that you do this. I show you many times that you had to fold the paper before you are going to, um, look, before you are going to glue, okay? You measure what it's going to be, and then you had to do this crease right here, and then you glue it, okay? For example, I'm going to glue this one right here, and then this one right here. Now this is how it looks, it has enough room to um, fold the cover back and forth as many times. Okay, now on the other side, I um, just glue the paper that I want for the cover. I'm going to use a paper that is not in the collection for the spine. I will give you the dimensions of the um, hinges. And this one measures three and three quarters by eight and a half. And you're going to score at three quarters of an inch, one and a half, two and one quarter, and three. So every three quarters of an inch, okay? But you're going to fold only the first and last, okay? Score. You are not going to fold this one. This is just your guide, remember, for the next one that it will go there. And this one is two and one quarter, by eight and a half. For the inside, I had this 12 by 12 and I really like this pattern. So I cut at six, okay? And I needed uh, to cover this one as well. So I got this paper from a stash and I'm going to put it up here so it can um, be like this, okay? One on each side. But because I don't want the cover just to be plain, I'm going to make a pocket, okay? But um, I'm gonna show you now how to get more of your paper. So I'm going to put like about this size right here where the flowers finish. So it's going to be three and a half. I'm going to cut my paper right here at three and a half only up to here. Then 
I don't want to cut this one in half. So I'm going to cut around the lighthouse and then stop right here where this, this flower is. And as you can see right now, my paper looks like this. See, this is what I cut out, but I'm going to put this one down. Okay. I'm going to glue this one right here and I'm going to make a pocket using this one. So I just need to put cardstock and leave one half of an inch outside and it will be a nice pocket right here. See? So this is how the pocket is going to look. The paper was a six and I added half of an inch on each side. And now I'm going to cut just like about um, one eighth of an inch all around. And that's it. See, you just glue this one right here and you have a pocket right here for the big tag. And this is how I decorated the pocket. Now for the tags, I'm going to give you dimensions. This is part of the collection, little tag. And this tag is one of the papers that comes in the kit and it's double sided. And this one is a five by seven. And I use the color cardstock and I cut at seven and a half and this one was 11, so I didn't do anything. And then I fold it in half and I have a big tag for five by sevens, okay? And this is how I decorated. That's a tag on top. And here is the folding mats. Now for this part up here, I'm gonna show you how I made it, okay? This one is a tag and the measurement of this tag is three and three quarters by seven and a half. Okay, I use one of my dies and I made this decoration and I glue on a cardstock and then I fuzzy cut around like about one eighth of an inch and then I use this piece to cut the border right here. Okay, I, I trace the edge so it looks like this. And as you can see, I use two layers of foam tape so it can have a big space right here. So this one holds the rest of the flaps okay that opens so um for this one i cut two pieces of paper this one measures six and a half by eight okay and you score at four okay this piece of paper you score at four and then you have okay something like this okay then you're going to score half of an inch at the bottom Okay, and you will have something like this. And we are going to cut this part up here, okay? We only need this one. This piece will look like this. And now we're going to do the other piece that comes right here. This is going to be six by eight and a half. And you have to score at half of an inch right here and then at four and a half. So you have half of an inch right here, and then this one will fall evenly at four, okay? So it will look like this, uh, four by six, okay? We cut right here, okay, the um, corners, and we are going to glue this part right here behind this, okay? And then you have a folding like this, okay? folds like this and like this see and now you have um, the hinge that goes to the back and we are going to use two hinges right here for the side so we have a lot of space for the tag okay so I, I cut these are six by one inch you fold it in half and you are going to use these two hinges right here and you glue these three parts to the back okay on the page and then you have a pocket in there and you put your tag behind see you have room for the tag and then you fold this one like this and you hold everything with the large tag we're going to do the first page and for the first page i'm going to use cardstock this one is six and a half by nine and a half and you have to score half of an inch on each side right here, okay? So it's going to be folded like this. Then 
the next one is going to be six and a half by eight and a half. So you don't have to do anything with this one because this will be on top of this to make a pocket page, see? Okay. Then the next part is this piece of paper and this one is seven and a half by 11. Okay, and this one you are going to score half of an inch on three sides. Okay, leave this one without scoring. So it's only these three sides and then you're going to score, okay, right here where you, you don't have a score right here, the half of an inch. You score right here at four and then one eighth of an inch more. See, at four and then one eighth of an inch more. Okay, so you have a folding and it will look like this. And the next paper is this one, which is six and a half by six and a half. And you have to score at, and then you have to score one eighth of an inch more, okay? Right here. We need that to make a folding right here on the side too, okay? Then I cut, cardstock in a different color and this is for the waterfall mats for this one um you're going to cut three pieces okay the first one is six by ten okay ten right here and then you're going to score at four four and a half five five and a half and six okay so from four to six every half of an inch okay that's uh, the first one. And then you're going to cut two pieces that are six by eight and a half. Okay, and these two are the same. They are six by eight and a half. And you're going to score at four and four and a half. Okay, both are going to be the same. Now, we are going to start with this one, okay? these two pieces and we are going to um, glue this one to make the pocket. Now your page looks like this. It has um, openings right here. One is for the hinges and the other one is for a pocket. Okay, now uh, we are going to um, glue this piece right here. Uh, we, we make the folding, okay? We make the folding on the three sides right here. Then we are going to cut right here. Okay, the corners of the big piece right here. Then we're going to cut right here all the way here. We cut this piece. until the end of this line, okay? Then we are going to cut this one, okay, like this. So we're going to do the other side. And now we have a pocket, okay, right here. Now we will glue this part up here, okay, on top of this. It will look like this, see? You have a pocket right here, and this one is a flap. But we are going to add another flap at the bottom, and this is the part that um, is the six and a half by six and a half, and you're going to fold it like this. You see one eighth of an inch. Then you're going to put glue only on the half inch, okay? Glue or tape, and then you're going to glue at the bottom up here, okay? Now, your flap is going to look like this, see? Open and open right here, okay? Now, why I uh, left right here one eighth of an inch is because we need this space right here for the waterfall mats, okay? So if we don't do this, then it's going to look like a belly. <laughs> and we did the same thing up here, see? So it will be very nice and the papers are not going to stuck. So we are going to open and now we're going to put the waterfall mats.
And these are the two pieces that are six by eight and a half, and we are going to fold it like this. Okay, and this one too. And after we have those ready, we are going to fold on this big piece that is six by 10, we are going to fold only the first one, okay? Only the first one. But we need these score lines because we need a guide to glue um, this part up here. Okay, this half of an inch. This half of an inch, we need to glue right here, okay? And after you glue, it will look like this, see? I just glue it, see? And then you have some more waterfall mats. And now the last one, you're going to put glue here again and you're going to skip one and then glue on the next line okay and at the end it will look like this see so i had to glue this one and this one only okay and it's easy because you have the guiding lines and then you have your waterfall mat now this one as you can see right here okay it has the last one too and you have to put tape in all this square, okay? All right here, put um, tape and then center it. Now, I glue it and my waterfall mats are ready. And as you can see, you have plenty of room for pictures right here, okay? And this one will go like this and it will close, okay? And then right here, you will have a pocket. And then at the back, I will just decorate with one photo frame. Now, this is how it's going to look after I decorated it, okay, this page. And as you can see, I use this big tag. And the dimension of this tag is uh, seven and a half by 11, okay? And you fold it in half. So that will be five and a half right here by seven and a half, right? So you just use that big tag there. Then this is how I embellish this page. And I made this knot using the rope and I put a pearl on top so you can uh, pull right here. Here, I put a mat and this mat is three and three quarters, okay? Three and three quarters right here by six, okay? And this one is three and one quarter by six, okay? And I decorated with the pattern paper, see? And you just see the pattern paper, but then you have these mats for pictures or for journaling. And when you open here, you have the waterfall mats. And right here, I put a border right here and right here. And this one is a mat that measures four by six. And this is one side of the page number one. And in the back and the other side, I use some of the paper collection. And then this one is a mat that measures four and a half by seven. And I use one of the tags to slide another tag, okay? Right here. I use the paper collection to make this banner. And now I'm going to give you the measurement for the large tags. We are going to use four tags Okay, one for each page. And this one measures six and a half by eight and one quarter. And this is how it looks. See, you have one, two, three, and four, four large tags. Now, this is page number two. And for page number two, we are going to cut a base again. Um, and this one is going to be for the... Um, pocket right here, okay, and the hinge right here, six and a half by nine and a half. We score half of an inch on each side, and we have like this, okay. This is the base of the page. Then we will cut another paper, and this one is eight and a half by 11, so you don't need to cut this one, okay. Uh, it's a regular eight and a half by 11 and you're going to score at six and a half okay six and a half and then one eighth of an inch more and this one will go on top of this okay and we will add another um page 
and this one is seven and one eight by eight and a half okay so you are going to score this one at six and a half and then one eight of an inch more okay so it's going to be six and a half one eight of an inch more and then you have half of an inch left okay and this one will be glue okay underneath right here of this now it's already glue and as you can see i just glue the half of an inch behind okay and then i still have the one eight of an inch right here so my page can have a space for the waterfall mats that we're going to put in here okay we're going to put waterfall mats too and this one will fall like this and also has the one eight of an inch okay and now we can um, glue right here on top of the base before we continue now your page will look like this see you open you open and you have right here openings for the hinge and for the insert now we are going to do the waterfall mats that will go inside okay and for this one i cut one piece of paper that is six by seven and a half okay so this is um six by seven and a half and i start scoring at four okay four four and a half five five and a half six six and a half and seven and we are going to cut uh four pieces okay more mats because this one will have a lot of room for pictures and these are six by eight and a half okay so you are going to score at four and then four and a half and fold it and it will look like this okay so after you have all of these you are going to do the same thing like in the beginning okay you are going to glue this half of an inch right here in the next space right here okay you just fold the first four inches okay don't fold this one please this is just a guide for you to leave the half of an inch left so you will do this okay glue now it will look like this see i already glue it and then you are going to do the same thing with the next one okay put glue here and you're going to skip one and glue in the next space okay like this and then the last one i mean and then one more right here and then one more right here okay and now i already glue the three um pieces okay and as you can see are these okay this one and i still have half of an inch here and that's because i'm going to add the last one right here okay next to it and it will be a longer one okay so it will look like this and that will go attach right here okay you have to center it okay as you can see um this is perfect for this size and you're going to glue this one first okay and this one you are going to just glue half of an inch right here okay and attach it right here okay then this one will open up okay and this one too see and you still have maybe you can use this space for journaling okay so it will look like a big waterfall mat right here and now that i glue you can see how your waterfall mats are going to look see there is a lot of room for pictures and these are a big size because this is four by six and if you want you can add another of this color right here so it can be all blue or you can add um decoration for journaling or something at that bottom okay then we close this one and we have something for here okay for here i made these two um little flaps and this one open like this okay so i made two and we are going to do um one that opens like this okay and the other one will open like this 
and I'm going to attach right here with two brads and just put it a little rope okay and I cut some of the decoration so it will look like this okay and it will open and you have room for two pictures there and this one will open and you will have two more pictures then uh, on this side right here I cut two mats uh, these are four by six mats and I'm going to glue it just right here and this is how I decorated the pocket as you can see I put the flowers right here and I put this rope that looks like it's hanging in there see and <clears throat> this flourishes okay so now for the uh, tag that goes inside I cut this paper that is uh, seven and a half right here by 11 and you fold it in half then you will have a nice tag that goes in this pocket when you open this you already saw this part in the tutorial and here it's already done I put the brats right here and you can um, untie and then here are the tags okay these are two mats that are four by six okay and right here for this part you open and I added this one and this part measures four by eight and a half and you score half of an inch fold it and glue it right here see I'm gonna show you closer you glue it right here and then I added the mats for these mats I cut uh, four color cardstock and these are three and three quarters by three and three quarters okay and I just glue them along the large tag too and this is part of the pattern paper and this one is the stencil okay and that's it for this uh, part of the second page okay then you have the large tag and at the back for this one I use one color cardstock as you can see right here a color cardstock and this one is eight and a half by eleven and I just fold it in half and each mat is three and three quarters by five okay so I cut four that measures the same and to decorate the front I use the scraps of the car color cardstock and I use these stones for the sand and this one for the water and then I use the stencil of the birds and also for the lighthouse and this is how it looks okay in a closer look see now we are going to need again this um the base of the page six and a half by nine and a half we are going to fold half inch on each side okay that's the bottom of the base then we will um, have another one that is seven by nine and a half okay and we're going to fold in three sides right here at half of an inch so it's going to be six and a half after the foldings okay and this one will be eight and a half then um, we are going to cut another one and this one is eight and a half by ten and a half okay so we're going to start scoring on this side at six and a half okay you score at six and a half and then you score one eighth of an inch more and yeah that uh, will be another one and then we have these three pieces okay and this one are five by six and a half and you score at three and a quarter and fold it in half okay like this these are going to be like little booklets so the first things that you're going to glue are these two parts okay this one that has the flap right here and this one okay so leave this one on the side we're going to work on these two and we will cut the corners right here okay and we will make a pocket you just need to put the paper okay you just need to put the paper right here see leave the eight of an inch out okay and then you're going to mark 
right here and we are going to cut this part okay same at the bottom okay you're going to put this one like this line it up and leave the eight of an inch out and then you are going to make a mark and then cut the rest right here okay so we do this cut this part up here all the way to the mark and then right here you can cut an angle just a little bit okay just like this and then we are going to cut this part too okay so we have right here the gussets for the uh, pocket that we are going to make okay we are going to glue this one on top okay but remember that eight of an inch have to be out okay don't glue it okay now it will look like this see you have a pocket right here and this one closes okay now we are going to glue right here okay this part and this one okay so we will have the opening for the um, big insert and then right here for the um, hinges okay now I have the page with a pattern paper and I have three cards okay this one had to be decorated like uh, in the opposite like instead of gluing right here your pattern paper had to be on this side okay and then one regular and then another one okay and for this one i didn't close at all because i'm going to put a magnet here i just made marks with a pencil where i want my cards to be um for example as you can see right here you just put the cards arrange them the way you want and then trace okay like i did it up here i don't know if you can see see i trace it the cards so i know where i'm going to glue okay i have the glue on that side and i'm going to just put it up here that would be the first one okay yeah as you can see i put the magnet in the corner okay and i have the mark where i'm going to put this one and i put the glue all the way around i'm going to just glue this one on top Okay, and it will look like this. Okay, so you have space right here to slide a picture, and then this one will close. Okay, like this. And now, because this one is going to be open like this, so I wanted to uh, put another magnet right here. And I have these very small magnets that are very strong, so I can keep the cards closed, okay? So I'm going to put a little more of the tape. And now, this one has already taped, so now I can close it. And now it will look like this. See? Um, let me show you. You open right here, and then right here, you can put a picture. It's not gluing here and this one is another card that gives you more pictures see so it will go behind and i put um this title with a uh, foam tape so it can stop in here okay it doesn't go all the way to the bottom <laughs> see you just close this one and then put this one on top and when you see it looks like three cards right and now you can see how i decorated this page and when we open this one, we have this pocket, and this is how I decorated with one of the chipboard pieces and Baker's twine. See? And um, I also put a piece of the paper collection right here, and these mats. This is a 5 by 7 and this is the double-sided uh, paper that comes with the kit. And this one is 
um, seven and a half by 11, okay? And you just fold it and you have a large tag for five by sevens, okay? So this one goes right here. And these one are two mats that measure four by six, okay? And at the back of the third page, okay, is this one right here. I'm gonna show you how I made this um, envelope. And here is a booklet that has four pages and I'm going to show you in a minute. Let me show you this one first. Um, look at how I decorated. Okay, I put a flower, seashells, and I used a sticker and papers, okay? So now for this part up here, I use these two pieces of paper. One is five by seven, and the other one is four and a half by six, okay? This one is the base, okay? The, the back of the envelope, okay? So you're going to need this one for the back. And this one, we are going to score in three sides right here, okay? Like a pocket. And after you score those three sides, you are going to mark from here, okay? To here, one inch, okay? You just uh, fold this one and mark at one inch, and then you're going to cut from here to the top right here, okay? Don't use the folded part. This one had to cut it straight, okay? Straight right there. Then you're going to cut from one inch. You can use a cutter. Um, I'm doing this one so you can see where with pencil because mine is already done uh, and you have like this right these two pieces and this is the other part right you are going to turn upside down okay and you're going to fold this one to the back then get the base okay and you're going to glue this one to the back just this part up here okay glue this one to the back then you are going to put this one on top Okay, the second piece, and you're going to make a mark right here, okay? You're going to make a mark right here and right here, okay? And you can just put some glue all around right here, this space, and then glue this part on top, okay? And fold this to the back, okay? And it's going to look like this. See? It's like an envelope. And at the back, you can add tape or glue all around and glue it on the page. And you have a big pocket that looks like an envelope. And then I decorate it with uh, the beautiful paper. I'm gonna put it closer. Now to make this booklet, I use two pieces that are seven and a half by 11, okay? So this is one cardstock and this one is another one that is folded. And I use a piece of the pattern paper to make this hinge right here that, that join them together, okay? These two pieces of cardstock. So I put one up here and another one at the back, okay? This one is another one. So you have two cards and it makes four pages, okay? And then to give more decoration, I put uh, some of the borders in the other sides. Okay, so it's, it doesn't look too plain and you can have big pictures in each one booklet, okay? And this is how I decorated the top. And this one goes right here. See? Now, these are the pieces that I cut and this is the base. Six and a half by nine and a half. You score half of an inch of, on each side and then fold it and you have this one. That is the base. Then you are going to cut a six and a half by eight and a half. And this is plain, no scoring, no cutting. And you are going to glue this one on the top, okay? Then the next piece is going to be seven by eight and a half. And we are going to score half of an inch on the right, okay? And we fold it, and this one is going to be an addition to this um, part right here, okay? It's going to be like this. Then we are going to have this one, it's four and a half by seven and a half. 
and we have to score on three sides right here half of an inch and we fold it and then this one is going to be a pocket for the back then you will have these four pieces of paper that you cut in different sizes and this will be like a waterfall mat the first one is five inches by six and you have to score on the left at half of an inch okay the second one is going to be five and a half by seven okay and score on the on the left half of an inch okay then the third one will be at six by eight okay and score half of an inch and the last one is not going to um, have the scoring right here the half of an inch so this is five and a half by eight okay now i have this one glue and i'm going to attach the page that goes on the side this one that has um the half of an inch folded i'm going to put it up here inside okay and you have to put it just next to the line okay just like this see don't put it overlapping the line because then your paper is not going to fold very well and now you have another page see and for the front page i'm going to put the, the um, mats okay like this um we are going to overlap this half of an inch on top okay right here then um, you you need to leave half of an inch on each side then this one you are going to glue on top of the blue one but you have to leave half of an inch again on each side and the last one okay is going to glue on the first page and this one next to it okay so this is how it's going to look okay i'm going to put this one on top and as you can see you have room right here for a lot of pictures i didn't glue this one because i'm planning to put that ribbon or something to tie all these pages okay and i was going to um put, uh, use these borders okay that comes in the paper collection and um i don't know yet how i'm going to do it but i was thinking like just to put up here okay to cover just that part now for the last page this is how i decorated um the page and as you can see i added the seam binding and i glued this one underneath the pattern paper right here okay and then at the back of this color um cardstock the last one okay so you can tie this one like this okay one side and this one underneath the color cardstock and inside of the mats i <clears throat> just put flourishes and as you can see right here these borders come with a paper as you can see here is another one and for the last one here is another one okay right here and as i show you in the tutorial here is an opening okay and for this part up here i added these two pages okay this one measures six and a half okay six and a half by eight and a half and the one that is six and a half i folded half of an inch right here at the edge and i glue on top of this page okay, as you can see half of an inch and then i added mats this large mat is five and a half by eight okay and these two are four by six and for the other pages the same measurements six and a half by eight and a half and i scored half of an inch but i didn't glue on top i glue it behind okay right here behind inside the pocket okay where the large tag goes okay right here so this is the large tag right here and it looks very nice right here clean okay so the large tags are the same four by six and this one is five and a half by eight and for these pockets i use two of these okay this is seven by nine and a half okay you need two exactly the same and then you're going to score on the sides right here 
okay three size half of an inch and you will have something like this see see half of an inch on three sides okay and this one as well but then you are going to measure okay you fold this part up here and you're going to measure four and a half inches up to here okay four and a half inches okay and right here two and a half okay two and a half and you are going to cut from this dot to this one okay you're going to cut straight on the side then you're going to cut diagonally all the way to four and a half okay there then straight to the side okay see and it will look like this then you are going to fold this one to make the pocket okay when we cut the corners And we cut the corners when we do pockets. And let me put this one to the top, okay? And this big part, you are going to turn this way and you have the two pockets there. But what happened that you're going to glue only this side and this side, okay? These two sides on top, okay? You're going to glue on top right here, these two and then you have three sides to glue to the back and you're going to glue these three to the page and look at this you have to cut this one as well okay see this one is this side right here and then you have the two pockets look i left it white because i'm using the color cardstock so for decoration i just put this sticker that comes in the paper collection and i decorated only the bottom part of the pocket okay so this is how it looks and for the other side is the same thing but you just turn this way and then fold it to the back okay all this to the back okay you fold this one and glue these two on top of this piece and then turn the three of these parts and then fold these three to the back and then you can do the pocket to the other side okay see just fold it to the back and that's it and for the mats i cut these two of the same size these two mats are four by five and a half and you can put pictures in both sides okay and then right here this large tag is seven and a half by 11 and you just fold it in half and these are perfect for five by sevens so i'm going to show you a closer look on how i embellish each pocket at the bottom see i use stickers and pieces of the paper collection so you can see right here and right here okay and when you close this one you have right here the large tag and then at the back of the fourth page okay i made a pocket and this pocket measures four and a half by seven and a half okay and i um score half of an inch around so this pocket measures four by six and a half after you use the half of an inch for the hinges okay so this is how i decorated the pocket and right here for the tags this is a five by seven and this one is a small tag that comes with a paper and this one is just a piece of cardstock that measures six and a half by nine and you just fold it in half and you have four mats for four by sixes now i have my pages they are now ready i need to embellish a little more but I'm going to attach them because I need to know if they are not too bulky, if they have enough space in between, everything, okay? So what you do is just, you see you have the opening right here, okay? You are going to start, for example, right here. You can start with that 
back, okay? And you are going to put this one right here. Okay, here is the opening. You're going to lay this one on the side. And then you're going to attach right here. You just put it in there and make sure that you have one quarter of an inch. And then you just pull the backing of the tape. And then you do the same thing for the front, okay? So you're going to do the same thing to attach all of the pages.
enjoy making this cardstock mini album and if you don't have a kit you can use any um, collection or any pattern paper and decorate it uh, something similar but it's going to be a very nice big cardstock mini album okay thank you very much for watching my videos for your likes your comments and for subscribing to my channel have a blessed day everyone bye bye